Hey, oops. Hey everybody, my name is Mike and welcome to a video where I'm going to show you how you can upload a design on Spreadshirt.com. So first of all, you need to go on to Spreadshirt.com on your local browser. And then after you have logged in, you can see I'm logged in here. I can choose to log out. You need to click on start selling so you can get into the partner program. And then you just need to click on the sell on marketplace. And when you're in here, you should see something like this. And then you're going to go over here on the left and click designs. And then you're going to upload more designs or just drag them here. And then you're clicking upload. And then you need to find your, uh, your design. And for this example, I'm going to use this one, the cup by day gamer per night. And then you can see it's processing. It can take everything from a minute to like a couple seconds. And then you click here. You can either choose the optimized version or the original version. The optimized version has better print results while the original version has graphic editing option limited. So I will highly suggest you just ch uh, check out the optimized version. Just click confirm settings and yeah, you should probably do this. Yeah, you're going to do this twice. I don't know why really, if it's a glitch or something, but yeah. And as you can see here, now you're getting to the place where you can uh, filter out what kind of products you are going to sell with this design. So as you can see here, this is the sticker. I'm just going to click apply on the men's t-shirt. And you can scale it for however you want to. It's pretty neat. You can say it's going to be a bigger design or a smaller design. You can rotate it if you want to do that. And over here, you can also do it. And down here is the same as the editor in on Redbubble also has with the vertical and horizontal center design. And over here, this is kind of cool because this is, here you can choose what color your design is going to be up in when people are searching for your design. So I'm just going to click on white and down here you can deactivate colors and I'm just going to choose the black one. And as you can see, there's no black here. There's a deep navy and there's a, probably the closest to the black. Yeah. So I'm just going to cl click apply. And when you go through all of this, this is just the recommended designs. And you can go up here and click all designs. And now you're getting all 112, I think 120 designs that you can choose from. And you can just sign them up here. And then you're getting more designs to your more more kind of t-shirts and accessories and whatever to your design. Then you're just gonna click next. And here you can see uh, the design name. And I'm just gonna choose cup by day, gamer by night. And down here the description, I have made one here. Whoops. You can copy that if you want to. I don't really mind that. And up here is my text for this design. And as you probably know, you need to put good text on your design or else people are not going to find your design and potentially purchase it. And then you're just going to click create when you're done. Yeah. And this, I, I am not American, so I cannot do all of this, but I can go out to my personal shop here on the Danish spreadsheet and you can see here that is controlling. So that means that spreadsheet needs to accept your design. So and put them up on their website and that could take anywhere from three to 10 days, like business days. So that's, that's a lot. That's really the one of the only cons that I have for this website. As you can see, I don't have any published designs yet, but I am looking forward to 
getting these designs up on their platform so they hopefully can sell in the future so yeah that's basically that's basically much it thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in another video